bacon, cheese, secret sauce. This is one of Calgary's very best burgers. Most of it is in <laughs> in the container. This filling. <laughs> Hey, I'm Gina in Calgary. Uh, so you know what they say, right? Everyone says this, uh, the best things in life are raised in Alberta. And that goes for beef uh, and meat. <laughs> Despite the fact that, you know, I think I know this city, there are some things about it that I am in search of, such as beef, Alberta beef, in circular format. Like a, like a burger, yeah. Yeah, so I wanna know, what are the best burgers in Calgary? I've got a bunch of suggestions from people and I've narrowed it down to three places. I'm gonna try their burgers and I'm gonna rate them. I'm gonna be tough, but fair. I'm gonna rate these burgers on the three pillars of what I consider to be a good burger. Taste, okay, is it juicy? Do the flavors mesh together really well? Cost, right? Because you don't wanna break the bank on a burger presentation. How does it arrive at the table? I'm going to start with a place called Boogie's Burgers. Let's go. So I'm at Boogie's Burgers in Renfrew and this place actually started in 1969. So people love coming here for that retro feel, the arcade games, the milkshakes, and of course the burgers. All right, I'll get one food mat, please. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's weighty. Got the boot neck, special sauce. Got two patties. See? Yeah. See those guys? This is a play on Big Mac. I prefer this a thousand times to Big Mac. This is so delicious. I guess this video is just over because I already ate more than I can possibly eat. <laughs> Boogie's was really, really good. I thought the bun was so big and a little overpowering compared to those thin patties. I, I guess bun is important to me. I'm learning a lot about myself, guys. They have crazy creative burgers on their menu, so I'm definitely gonna be back. This specific one, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Cost, okay, the burger was $9.75. For that entire thing, great deal. Great deal. I'm gonna say great deal. I'm gonna give them a five out of five for cost. Presentation, great vibe in there. I love when they brought it out. They'd had that big knife in it. Just like here, <laughs> it's gonna be tough, but you're gonna do it. Overall, a really cool experience. So I'm gonna give it a five out of five for presentation. So overall, Boogie's Burgers, 14 out of 15. Okay, now I'm headed to Kraft, and uh, inside is Pijo's Burger Club. This is one of the most popular places in Calgary to just come, watch a game, drink beer. When you go in, don't look at Kraft's menu. Don't tell them I said that. Ask for Pijo's Burger Club, and you can get it in a takeout container. They have a ghost kitchen inside of this place. Looks like a very classic American cheeseburger. Boop. Okay, so the sauce, it's Pijo's secret sauce. I don't even know what it is. This bun is a potato roll. I'm gonna take my jacket off for this. Mm. I like the potato roll. It's like light and fluffy. I'm gonna do that. It's a little light and fluffy. The cheese is not melted. So maybe it's that's like on purpose. Oh, this is really delicious. Okay, P. Joe's Burger Club. I mean, where do I even begin? This compact burger just satisfied my craving for a burger like nothing else. Just something about that potato bun. Mm, yum, still thinking about it. And it was toasted, brown sugar onions. Ugh. Taste, five out of five. Cost, $12.49. It sort of has food truck sort of vibe if you were to just get it for takeout. So $12.49 for that burger, hmm, maybe, maybe a little steep. For that, I'm gonna give uh, cost three out of five. Presentation, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. 
I thought that the secret menu was very cool, but if you stay at Craft, you get a really good night out experience. I was on the rooftop patio and I had a great time and a really good beer with it. Pito's final tally is 12 out of 15. Okay, for something completely different, I'm headed to this mall. Yeah, <laughs> a mall food court. I know, it's crazy, but it is home to a burger place that is winning a ton of awards, so I gotta try it. This is Dragon's Lair Burger. Okay, it's a bit of a hidden gem. Okay, I think I'm gonna try the Burger Fest 2015 champion. It's the half pound jam and dragon. Thank you so much. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> okay. okay, it just looks like a bunch of rounds, like heaviness right now, but let's see. Oh, it's delicious stuff. It's delicious brown slop. It's about to come out. This is the messiest burger I've ever eaten, ever. I really like the bacon jam. The bacon jam is, oh, it's rich, it's it's sloppy deliciousness. This is a gluten-free bun, and normally gluten-free is like very questionable, but this is tasty. I think I'm gonna need a fork to get the, the rest of the burger. Dragon Slayer was the best surprise. This burger just had such a unique flavor. The cheese had a little jalapeno spice to it. It meshed in with that bacon jam in just such a gooey, great way. Five out of five for taste. Okay, let's talk about cost. This burger was $13.25. It's a bit of a higher price point, but you get lots of meat. I'm gonna give the cost four out of five. Okay, presentation. I mean, it it looked like something that would come out the other end of a cow. For presentation, I'm gonna give it a three out of five, but they know that. They know exactly who they are, and they're like, yeah, you're gonna have to come to this food court in a mall. You gotta bring your date here, and guess what? She's gonna love it. Okay, so Dragon Slayer, 12 out of 15. Okay, Googie's Burgers takes it with 14 out of 15 in my official, extremely accurate burger rating. So there you go. You might agree with me, you might disagree. Make sure you head to these places and try them out for yourself. I mean, each one had its own vibe and its own thing going on. Very tough to rate, but luckily it's such a specific rating system and the math on it just doesn't lie. So thanks for following along with me. Make sure you comment below. My name is Gina. See you soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our Narcity channel to see more content just like this.